Welcome to Allie's Way Tarot, and you're watching the Cheese Channel. Psychic medium readings done by Allie. Relax, subscribe, share to your friends. Let the magic begin. Hello, hello, guys, and this is Allie from Allie's Way Tarot. So, welcome back to another Spirit Baby reading. I know it's been a while since we've done them. Um, for those that haven't been, like, you know, watching my channel for a while, or maybe this video is new for you and you could benefit from it and you may be a new subscriber welcome hello it's always good to have new fam um i am outside <laughs> in the living room i'm not in my usual setup so if you hear any distractions like outside with the car um you know i uh, i sprained my knee so my usual setup where my my feet are like you know sitting in a normal position it's gonna be a little bit difficult and the living room is where I can put my foot up on a chair and it's a lot better space with the lighting it's just a lot easier for my physical body right now and I hope you understand so without further ado this is a spirit baby reading okay I know it's been a while and I did miss them so I wanted to do it today before the 4th of July the topic is what you need to know for July so I know it blew up the last time when I did what you need to know. And thank you so much for my 1K. I appreciate you guys. Let's try to get that again. Um, what do you need to know for July? I could do this monthly if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments below. Please be aware that as I'm growing and, you know, blooming my business, people are evil out there. So make sure that you are watching my spell the way I'm spelling my name. It's Allie's Way Tarot with no exclamations, no underscores, no dashes, none of that fun stuff, okay? Literally, it's look like, let me see. It looks like Allie's Way Tarot, okay? You, it's, clearly, you're on the channel, so just watch how it's spelled here, and that's how it's spelled on Instagram and TikTok, okay? All right, without further ado, let's get into it. What do you need to know from your babies? I pulled some card decks that talk about... Um, themselves how they want to introduce themselves this particular month could resonate with you now or in the future these are timeless okay these are past present and future that's your it's a general so take what resonates and leave the rest for a friend okay um and i also pulled what they want to tell you for your personal life so you can have a little takeaway for july like a little mini reading for you okay it's a collective like i said before so take what resonates and leave the rest for a friend and i will see you at your pile we have the whole pile that looks very galactic right we have the good things take time and indeed it does so make sure that you are you know breathing zenning and picking your pile very intuitively you can pick it on colors and hold on i'll put it right here Fair baby <laughs> um you pick your colors however you want and it could choose for words it could be the way it's spelled maybe it calls out to you but you know pick it and then i'll get into your pile all right and i'll see you there hello my hope pile how are you pardon this right here it's my mother's candle holder <laughs> um i'm trying to make it as pretty and neat as possible but like i said i'm not in my setup that i usually go where it's all beautiful sunlight and stuff so we're making it work for right now okay we're making it work i'm gonna get into some tarot just to see the energy this could be for you or your baby i was not really sure with the way they made me pick cards where it was gonna go today but for what you need to know usually i have a theme but today is kind of freestyle so i mean i don't know we'll get into it whatever it is and then i can reference it the tarot later when it all makes sense somehow for whatever reason all right, I'm going to do this on camera, so please be mindful of the noise I'm about to make. Okay, let's go into it. Please give me three cards. I feel like three is enough. What do I need to know? Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. And we have right... Oh, that's beautiful. And we have the two of cups. I feel like one more. Let's just take one more. Oh my god. The nine of pentacles. The nine of cups. That's beautiful. That is very, very beautiful. And we have the bottom of the back of the deck that says Queen of Swords. So you are badass. Because <laughs> Queen of Swords and Regular Tarot is badass. Um I can't even like go dig it out in another tarot deck because that might take too long. Ugh. But Queen of Swords. 
She don't play games. I was going to pull the Winnie the Pooh deck, but then I thought about it and I was like, nah, I'm not going to pull it. Maybe not today. We could do it another day. So you have lovers and we have two of cups, right? So two of cups is about union. It's about romance. Lovers is obviously lovers. Sometimes it could be a sexual energy, but when I see the two of cups there, it lets me know that it's not sexual energy. It's just a double confirmation that there's someone in your soul partner that you're very interested in, either you're with right now, and you guys have a loving romantic relationship, right? I can get into the other, other deck too to see how it's going to finish playing out for you. That'll be very interesting. Let's see. Queen of Swords is badass. So Queen of Pentacles, she's about her money. If you guys ever seen my other tarot readings, you see the Queen of Pentacles sitting there on a tree with, she's a um, dark skinned woman under a tree. She's in tune with herself. Yes. So how is gonna, the future for you and your partner is gonna be 10 of cups. So happy family. Financial abundance might be a little bit iffy towards the very end, but look at him. This could be your twin flame because it has, king of pentacles as well you're queen and he's king wow that's let me just bring that to the front so hold on a second wow look look at that and let's just shout out our friend one more time our follower friend that was so generous and so kind wait i hate this let me just put this here oh that looks so much better i hate that little <laughs> it's not my house but anyway queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles let's shout out our friend that gave us this beautiful mickey finger so now i don't have to just like lean over <laughs> But it's beautiful. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So you guys are about your money, even though you do have a little bit of, um, you can move this over for a bit, a little bit of a, a roller coaster kind of time, right? That's okay. That's okay. And the back of the deck, though, we have um, Rebirth. Rebirth, and we have Knight of Pentacles. It's a bunch of money. This connection, I'm not saying it's based off of money, but you guys are going to succeed very well when you do think um to bring up the topic together about money surrounding money let's see what your children have to talk about their personalities okie dokie what do we got here like i said before i pre-shuffle but i don't see so i'm just as shocked as you are we have nurturing we have mama's toes we have motivated we also have charming so your baby wants you to know right now that he or she is very nurturing uh has your toes is very motivated so very um, driven to do outside work or anything that's um it's funny that the rainbow is showing too because the rainbow doesn't just mean lgbtqa plus but it does mean rebirth as well right so there's a lot of chakra healing your baby could be very psychic very spiritual because i'm staring at that too much um usually when i stare at things it's a message they're trying to tell me but nurturing and kind and motivated and charming anything that's charming i feel like princess like and when i see princess i see cinderella even though there's a thousand more princesses right now i'm being shown water and water is blue and the only blue dress i can think of that extravagant to what i'm seeing as charming is cinderella okay let's go into summer i'm excited i miss the spare babies all right your baby wants you to know that he or she is very intelligent loves to travel didn't i say water oh my god lgbtq oh okay so maybe it could be that's so funny and adolescent i don't think they are part of that community but i do feel like they have friends that do support and so they support and they defend for justice and right this could be a libra very into the justice um, or it could be a part of the, ba the baby's chart. And this is an intelligent child that loves to travel, loves to have adventure, is a part or, for some, it's a collective reading, and is a part or supports the LGBTQ community. And right now, he or she is coming in their adolescent form to let you know how they're going to be when they are an adolescent, okay? I don't know the gender, but let's see with the cards that, that I created. I made this deck, if you guys are interested in Love to, uh, love Oracle and want to purchase, it's called Messages from the Spirit Babies, the Infants. I know when I told my baby, like, you're a cute little spirit baby, she was like, I'm not a baby, I'm not a spirit, I'm an infant. So she wants to be recognized as living. And so I was like, let me not offend my daughter. And I made it infants. Okay, well, the gender is a boy in this lifetime. Mama or daddy, I would prefer if you live in a quiet neighborhood. 
thank you for showing me love before my conception so your baby does feel loved and respected um, my aura color is red so very much into the root uh, we have Santa baby <laughs> hurry to the delivery room tonight you could sing that in your own time orange Wow okay so they love the aura what did it say so for some of you guys your baby's aura color is red and others are orange okay and it says if you she if you see um shapes in the sky it is me sending you signs my hair is going to be wavy and curly i prefer no baby talk when i arrive and the last card says i will value religion and spirituality please pray with me when i arrive wow didn't i say your baby seems very spiritual and i don't see the decks before they um come out so i just pull and it basically it looks like this and then when i flip it i flip it with you that's very interesting okay let's get into some more stuff that we've got here your baby says that i will be a foodie i smell food and i go in the kitchen a lot okay no bottle feeding me so you this is a boss baby telling you how he or she wants he is he he wants to live in this lifetime it's time to cut off negative family right so it's time to cut off negative fam for real so i am maybe you're lingering people in your life that no longer serve you i know july is an energy a very heavy one that is not meant to play um i think i've said this in my previous readings check out check me out on instagram i did do a short reading about that you should cut people off that are negative and no longer serve you anymore july is coming in to snatch souls when I say that, I mean like snatch people that don't deserve to be in your world. Okay, it's all about ascension in this Leo's Lion's Gate. Even if you can't see the path, keep moving forward and don't look back. I heard each and every day. Your soul partner is attracted to your bright light. Keep on shining. So your baby wants you to know that you should keep on shining. I also heard keep on swimming. What are your hopes and dreams for me? mine are that you are happy loved and know how much you mean to me oh okay it's not over yet so please don't give up so this okay hold on a second our ancestors have told me so much about our lineage it is fascinating so again your baby is so so proud of you constantly wants to let you know that constantly keeps reiterating that you are perfectly fine with moving forward in your path like i said you have a lot of a um, financial abundance that's what they were talking about okay financial abundance coming your way and although your baby is around you to protect you keep swimming keep going keep get out of your head keep going keep moving okay you can and you will succeed all right let's get more oracle here we have is summer so yeah july is part of summer the summer solstice is coming to change all of your bad habits tainted yeah gossip so that's probably why they said cut off your family there's someone gossiping and you're going to move into a higher level commitment very very soon not only just for um financial abundance but it's going to be spiritual abundance it's going to be romantic abundance as well we have here life is too short to <laughs> so life is too short for nasty food eat tacos make it happen girl shock everyone there's some sneaky relative out there that really doesn't believe that you will and you can succeed okay daddy's name is going to be a sign that they're going to show you whatever their father name is or whatever name you're you fantasize if you don't have a partner and you're making up a name like for your partner that could be their actual name and that's a sign they're going to send you Symptoms of pregnancy include, let's see, I'm a little closer. We have food aversion, mood swings, nausea, heartburn. We have um, diarrhea, sorry, a little bit of regurgitation in the, in the stomach. Um, constipation is another one. And fretulence, I've never heard of fretulence before, but all of these are, could be signs that you're going to receive. I feel like when you get those signs, it doesn't mean that you're just pregnant, but it does mean that your body is going through a spiritual and awakening and a change, okay? Um, when you do have a spiritual awakening, your body does get more sensitive to foods, to smells, to people, to, to vibes, to... It just hurts. You get a lot of knee pain, a lot of back pain, because your body is changing its DNA cells, technically, to be a high vibe. Signs is that baby on board. That's another one you're going to see. Someone's car, maybe, or even yours. And a dinosaur. So maybe when you go to the museum or aquariums, you will see a dinosaur. 
okay and let's just get uh do are we finished oh my god oh you know let's just get some um some time frames of when everything's gonna be shown i know they said summer but when when is piles one's life going to be in complete full circle oh that's a good question okay you feel like it's a waste of time that's why they said to keep swimming all right a time surprise that's beautiful a time surprise one more when is the surprise can we get it all right it says right here time to recalibrate so they don't even want to give you a time let me just pull one more I'm trying to get a time nope they don't want to give you a time they don't it's just like a bunch of <laughs> it's crazy okay so we have right here time to work after a hard time and unexpectedly so yeah they're not giving you a time frame it's really up to you when you want to make that change and take that action but other than that yeah that was a great reading i hope that it resonated with some of you please give me a like a thumbs up a share subscribe to your family and your friends after this we're going to get into some charms to see what significance is going to be for you but i really hope that you enjoyed it and liked it and if you're a new subscriber please stay please join the family um as the, this channel grows and we get to 1k right now we're close to 300 when we get to 1k i'll be giving away giveaways on my 1k and as we grow we'll just keep going and going i have a candle shop check me out there i have manifestation tools and i have right now i have um coming out sleep meditations and so i hope that it brings you some type of peace okay don't forget that this is ali your oshun goddess that loves pink and gold and i will see you in the next one thank you so much pal one for letting me be a part of your energy and choosing me to be one of the readers that give you peace thank you all right pile one let us see what we've got i didn't bring out the little uh dice right now because the dice machine because my <laughs> my body can't do that right now with my crutches but we're gonna get into this with the old-fashioned shake let's see what we've got all right oh we got some messages reading is important right here person soccer okay so this could be you or your person is working out. Maybe you're getting that summer body. You have a new connection coming in, right? Or it could be that you're making new friends and new people, new connections financially. Uh, you're elevating from that dishwasher level of, of working for someone else. You're becoming your own boss. Uh, it could also be that right now you have a teddy bear coming in with a person. So someone trying to wow you with that teddy bear. They're studying you. They're reading about you. They're stalking you on social media. Um, this is a water full of pool with fish. So they're trying to fish you out, trying to understand you. Soccer. Maybe you're going to go see a soccer game with that person and have a significant connection. Or you could just really like soccer and then... Um, you also are reading to, to understand your craft and your business in a better way. Okay, that's another way of reading it. And let's get into some charmies. It's gonna get a little loud, and I'm really sorry, but I need a bigger charmy thingy. Okay, let's see what we've got here. That's a lot for my little hands to hold. Okay, let's go. Okay, one more. Perfect. Let's move this over for a second. All right. I'm going to clean it up and I'll be right back. And ba -ding, ba -ding. Okay. Hello guys. Uh if you're new, thank you for watching me and I just want you guys to join the family. So please join cuz that'll be really fun. All right. Um so let's go with my little Mickey hand again. <laughs> um do what you love and love what you do. My phone's going off, so I guess spirit agrees. Do what you love and love what you do. It says love and be loved. Oh, this one's turned around. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
wishes do count so just imagine imagine come out twice dream another one so imagine dream and know that your wishes do come out um you are protected divinely there's hope and didn't you didn't you pick the pile that said hope how ironic all right we have right here a sugar cube so let's move that over that's part of food be mine so somebody's spirit baby is out here letting them know that it's okay to dream and imagine and use that sacral chakra and your pineal gland that third eye be mine so someone loves you to the moon and back there is a person a significant person in your life that is coming forward raking leaves this could be an autumn season okay the initial could be a it says sweetheart so they do love you and see you dearly and um this is some desserts right here that is significant to you could be that you love them or that you need to start eating them this right here is quiche so that's French desserts. Hello to my people that are from France that are watching me. I have closed captions for people like you guys that can't understand English fully. Uh, just go click the closed captions. I made it for you guys in all languages. <laughs> and I hope that it translates right, but <laughs> I blame YouTube. <laughs> um, so this is popcorn. This is a candy. This is a waffle. And this right here is a Starbucks drink. So maybe you love Starbucks dragon fruit could be significant to you guys. Do you, some of you play the trumpet or the trombone or an instrument in general? Could be for you or your soul partner. And you are a wish upon a star. So you are everything and one, okay? And right here, this tried to fall out, but it says this is a half moon. So something in a significance happening to you in a half moon uh, phase. Moon again. So there's a lot of moon energy. Could be that... Um, on the moon it's going to be or you using your moon sign it's going to be significant for you to manifest okay and that's what i've got let's get into your pendulum okay all right wait let's turn this around yes oh maybe some of you guys too love laffy taffies because laffy taffy is yellow in the banana flavor hi pal one uh, welcome to your part of the pendulum reading. I'm working on getting an English one that says yes, no boy and girl, but for right now, this is the one that we have. So nunca means not right now, all right? Siempre means yes, and always, forever. Si means yes, no means no, and quizás means maybe. Okay, this is all energy, so just think of your question in three, two, and one. Let's go. Let's do it over. C. Oh, you got C. So that's wonderful. Okay. So whatever your question was, the answer is yes. I hope that it resonated with you the entire reading. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to comment. Let me know if you want to comment. Uh, let me know if it resonated with you. Thank you so much once again for having me be a part of your life. And I just appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, hello, pal two. Thank you so much um, for my good things take time. Indeed, they do. Um, I don't really know what your babies are going to tell you today. They picked some random piles. <laughs> so we'll get into it and I'll see how the message translates for you in your personal life. Um, please don't forget to give me a like, a share, and thumbs up, and to share and subscribe to me. It means so much to me. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start with some tarot just to see how your energy is. You are your baby. Take what resonates and we'll leave the rest. I don't know where we're going, even though I pre-pull cards, I never see them. I always see them on the back, so just basically like this. And then when I flip them, that's we both find out together. Um, but let's see what we're going to find out today, okay? If this could be for you or your baby, later on in the reading, I will reference it back. And it'll make sense to me, but for right now, I'm just being... I'm going with the flow. I'm going with the flow. Alright, so let's go. What is Pile 2's energy? What is Paltu's energy? Okay. We have the Queen of the Page of Cups. I have Queen. <laughs> Maybe they feel you're the Queen. I uh, Page of Cups. We have two of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Alright, one more. Oh, I said Queen and it came. Queen of Wands. Okay, so that would make sense. And judgment. Okay. Ooh, it's a lot of heavy energy. Let me just breathe and zen. Oh, another uh, PSA that I should say before we get into anything, right? Is that um, I am outside right now in my living room uh, because I 
sprained my my knee and so therefore um we're gonna hear a lot of distractions i'm sorry i can't control outside but um you know it, it is what it is unfortunately so i'm sorry but we're gonna have to just make it work until my knee feels better and we can go back in our original setup okay all right so this is all about business i guess today money financial abundance is on the core of everybody's reading so a page of cups is somebody that can shut someone out very very easily you can basically ignore bullshit <laughs> there's no way to say it uh two of pentacles is when you feel kind of like confused where you are financially but the queen of wands right here um she's about it doesn't have to be a woman but that's a female energy she's basically a boss that takes initiative i'm talking the michelle obamas and the beyonce's right the cardi b's and the Nicki minaj's and even the lizzo's and Megan the Stallions, pariah female when it comes to money. Don't play with the money. And there's judgment, okay? So let's see what the judgment's all about. I'm going to use another tarot deck just to get another set of energy. And we're going to get into what's happening and why are you shutting people out. It could be that you're someone in your family may have doubted your ideas and your ability to grow as a person. And so you want to prove them wrong. That's the judgment card coming out for me. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a specific situation that they're showing me in my personal life with my, my best friend, actually. And um, her soaring and, and thriving besides what people have to say. So you've got the King of the Knight of Cups. That's someone, an admirer who's there for you that wants to give you an offer. All right. Let's get into what it's about to have to say. Good things take time. Right. We have Page of Cups. So again, another person's there. This And then look seven of cups this is a father figure who may have judged you in the past depending on your relationships where's my wand my relationships right here um or anything that has to do with your financial abundance right because you see how it has pigs and there's money and it's empty so they really do believe that you're basically flying on a cloud of emptiness when it comes to financial abundance all right and the back of the deck ooh. We have a hangman, and then we have three of swords. It's pain, but you're overcoming overcoming that pain. And then we have right here anxiety. So, and then we have queen of swords. Queen of swords and queen of queen of wands are the same kind of energy because they both know what they want and they stand in their excellence, regardless of what people have to say or regardless of what people think. Okay. Now, let's get into um. What your children would like to say to you as far as advice or any kind of, hey, mommy, get to know me or hey, daddy, get to know me. Okay. Daddy's skin color. Brave. You could know the father. If you don't, that's okay. This is a timeless reading. It's past, present, and future. Take what resonates and leave the rest for a friend. Uh, daddy, skin color, brave, loves to play pretend, and the baby is going to be born or conceived through the month of August. Okay. Oh, let's put back the spare baby. Okay, let's get some more. We have a fair complexion, cartomacy, and earth sign. Okay, so fair complexion could be for you or the father, okay? It doesn't have to be necessarily uh, someone that you knew in the past. It could be for your future partner if you are single, all right? Um... When it comes to cartomacy, cartomacy is basically what I'm doing. I'm channeling cards, okay? Um, Earth energy is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So again, then I say the Beyonce's, and then the Beyonce's is someone that is a Virgo. She's very about her business. She's into her craft. She knows what she wants, and don't play with her money because she's a businesswoman. Michelle Obama is a Capricorn as well. Um, I don't really know about Lizzo and the other ones that I mentioned. <laughs> But I said it and then it popped out. I love when things connect and you guys are able to like physically see exactly what I'm saying. Let's get into the deck that I created. Please let me know if you like it and if you're interested to purchase it. Um, I sell it on my Shopify shop and I made it by myself. Allie's Way Tarot. Okay, first card says, I will not enjoy naps during the day. Of course, because they're too busy thinking. Um, I am a foodie and love walking around in the kitchen with you. Morning sickness is going to be common in your second trimester. Okay. 
I'm sorry in advance for causing you gas. <laughs> so this pregnancy is gonna be quite the show. Um, I will have allergies, I will have allergies from gluten. Okay, I have a restriction to gluten. I can speak on that personally. And gluten is what's found in breads and pastas and rice. So jasmine rice is what you're gonna wanna do. Maybe UD's bread, UDI. That is a company that sells delicious bread. I know a lot of a lot of gluten-free breads don't taste the best. Some of them I've had my share of and I hated it. But UD is the best. UD is very similar to Wonder Bread, if anything. And um pasta, they sell pasta for Ronzoni and Berea. Um Berea pasta makes gluten-free versions. Oreos are also have gluten. Oreo gluten-free Oreos. Oh my goodness. It was, it was on my table just yesterday and I wish I could show you, but my knee hurts me. But there, it's in, it comes in a white pack and it says gluten-free. All right. If you do not have a partner, please do, please, wait. If you do not have a partner yet, please don't stress. I believe in you and us. Then I say if you don't have a partner, it's okay. Mama, daddy, I love the sounds of the city. I prefer to live in an active neighborhood. I'm going to have a medium or medium dark skin tone. And my aura color is lavender. Okay. All right, let's pick up some more. It says, I I almost came, but then I changed my mind. So you could have had a miscarriage. If not, you probably didn't even know you were pregnant. There will be union. Do you hear the birds? That's me. Keep going, champ. Please keep going, Papa. So something with the father. He's probably stressed out even though you don't know him. Or you may know him. Autumn is the month. You won't regret me. So autumn is the month for physical union. Autumn is the month for spiritual union. Autumn could also be the month that you get pregnant or you have the baby. Okay. All right. Let's get some more. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I love it. I'm having fun, guys. Let me know if you like it. Because I do put my all when I read. Okay. Advice cards here we've got. Oh, it's the snake. Ooh. And a chicken. Let's go for the snake first. Okay. All right. It says, there's temptation and or people in you and your soul partner's life who can't be trusted. Again, with that family. Um, I did channel for pile one family to get rid of and perhaps you could benefit from the same message that you need to get rid of family that's no longer serving you scratch the surface of your emotions to see what lies underneath are you responding to situations from your heart or from your ego okay trying to be more open-minded to the 5d with the approaches okay it says please don't give up on me so about the quitting don't give up again and i'm glad i chose you okay i'm glad i chose you so if you had any type of doubt or you didn't want children, your children are saying that they hope that you could conceive them. No pressure, but they do love your energy. They, they do love your vibe and they do want to be a part of your world. All right, we have childhood. So that could be something that's why you probably don't want children. If you do, if, don't forget, this is a timeless reading and it's a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest for a friend. So uh, seclusion means be alone and freedom. We also have right here rewards and the final card here is nourishment so what it's saying is when you have nourishment spiritually physically and food like you tend to have more and you need to be alone when you're alone you have nourishment you're healing yourself you have freedom freedom from your childhood you have rewards rewards is to ascend is to be the bigger person and to have a higher um, outlook on life that's what it's saying some advice cards that we have right here is be the type that says I got this with tears in her eyes <laughs> even if you are doubting yourself you are you have come so far you are magnificent and you can and will do this your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth so yes back again to the cards where it said someone did doubt you and you are ascending it doesn't even have to be your father it could have been your ex-boyfriend it could have been your your grandfather your uncle it could have been maybe your mother that tapped into her masculine role that's what it's saying okay any signs from your children because it's you know july obviously you're gonna go out 
unicorn we have here uh baby toys and we have the back of the other one superheroes so i'm seeing marvel obviously right here we've got marvel i'm also seeing even though he's not a superhero harry potter harry potter is badass okay we have orange so if you were guided to pile one maybe there's messages in there for you but because the baby's aura was orange over there and now we have orange here so maybe they're friends or their family and they know each other um but anyway yeah orange you see the car it's like roaming so they love superheroes oh my goodness that is so loud <laughs> Like, should I edit it out? But then again, it's a spiritual sign. So, no. I hate neighbors that make that kind of, like, reckless noise. Can you play quiet music? But sometimes, do spirits do use them into giving messages like that. So, superheroes, they like to play with cars, with trucks. Cannot make this stuff up. It's really on live camera. And now, let's get into some time frames. And then, I will get into your um, charmies and your dice in the second half anything coming forward to you or what what's the time frame okay we have january so something significant either you meet your partner you get pregnant you have your baby so many different people here time after time maybe you are trying right it said time will tell so for some of you a time after time time will tell and the month is january if you're trying a little bit harder they do want to see you, so they are saying make it happen sooner. <laughs> um, let's shuffle one more. Just one more. And then I'll... Okay. Time for a break. So, um... If you are trying time after time, just have a break, recalibrate, rest up, and then you will have your baby soon okay well anyway i hope that you enjoyed this pile too like i said in the previous before we started please like subscribe share and comment it does help me and our family as i start to get to a thousand subscribers we're close to 300 we will start to have um community boards where we're giving away stuff and have a lot of it's gonna get so fun i just need the subscriptions and i need you guys to really click the bell button like even if you watch one or two readings just subscribe to me so that one i could get monetized and two we can give giveaways i would love to give giveaways okay but obviously youtube needs to pay me so that i can give away something and be able to financially support the giveaway but Thank you so much, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you for allowing for me to be one of the people that you spiritually chose to tap into your reading. We all choose our people before incarnation to give us messages, and you chose me, and I'm grateful. So thank you so much, and my gratitude is extended. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I'm going to do your pendulum right now. Okay, pile two, let's get into your reading. It's going to get loud, so please be mindful. And I'm sorry in advance, but I can't control the Charmies. So therefore, let's get into dice first and let's see what we have. I don't have my dice machine today because there's only so much I can carry with this one foot and a crutch. But let's see what the dice have to say. Okay. All right. not even going I'm trying to get it to be in a, in a line <laughs> anyway this says wash your hands so hygiene is something that you need to take care of what's this your soul partner is going to say hello to you very soon um maybe take you out for a comedy show maybe you are doing some inner work if you are a twin flame and in divine timing you're going to find the answers in a rainy or windy season Preferably in the winter. Obviously, January is again popping up. Thunderstorm twice. So it's a confirmation. On a rainy winter day you're gonna or night, you're going to find your soul partner is going to reach out to you. Um, for some of you guys, you're going to go out for a drink. Or it says drink smoothies. Again, with that nourishment, try to be a little bit more healthy. 
your baby wants to let you know that butterflies are a symbol and a sign that they are around okay all right i hope that it resonated with some of you guys let me know it's always fun okay my little leg sorry guys it's gonna get loud okay okay let's see what we've got here let's see what we've got here Ooh. sweet treats let's get some more that's like terrible it's like it's not big enough I need to get a bigger charmy um, a bigger charmy thingy okay that's it all right let's see what we've got i missed the charms so spider-man again with the marvel tom and jerry they love to run <laughs> because tom, didn't Jer tom and jerry have like a running friendship run one's running from the other lilo and stitch is significant we have the incredibles is significant we have here uh yeah another son they love running sonic i forgot his name character Hello Kitty could be significant for you. And one more. Um, I think he was the Rugrats puppy, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now let's get into some more. All right. Oh, S Sailor Moon is another one. Okay, it says, I love you to the moon and back. Again, with that winter energy. I love you. The moon again. Let's clean this up a little bit. Then we're gonna... Good. Okay, now I'm going to use my little Mickey hand again because I have tiny little hands. <laughs> All right, let's go. I love you to the moon and back. I love you. So they want you to know I love you. I love you twice. Strong is beautiful. This is a dessert again with a sweet. So maybe you're eating a lot of sugar, especially with that lollipop right there. Um, turn this around. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven and it says it twice it's the same message twice so they really want you to know they really do want you to hold you and hold them in the heart because they they miss you this could have been your child in a past life I'm getting that vibe she believed she could so she did they're hyping you up in the in the physical your baby's initial your initial could be D Leo is another significant sign could be for you or your partner all the I'm, I'm seeing right here it says mommy and daddy please balance that with some popcorn because that's a lot of sugar you're having waffles again like that's like one two three four sweets try to have some popcorn um and that's pretty much it okay let's get into your pendulum Hi, Pal2. So welcome to your part of the reading with the pendulum. If you are new to my channel, we are working on getting an English one that says yes or no, boy and girl. But um, right now we have this one. And nunca means never technically, but I like to say not right now because I don't believe in never. Siempre means always. Si means yes. No means no. And quizás means maybe. So let's get into it in three, two, and one. No. Oh. It's been acting up today, that right? little pendulum. Come on, Pendy. No, there we go. It means not right now. So not right now, something's gonna happen, okay? It doesn't mean never, it just means not right now. Well, thank you so much for having me be a part of your, um, your life, like I said, and like, please join me some more and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for subscribing to Ali's Way Tarot. Readings done by Ali. I appreciated you guys in the Chisme on our Chisme channel. Don't forget to click the bell notification on YouTube right here for more content and all readings. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share to my TikTok and Instagram at Ali's Way Tarot, the same way it's spelled on YouTube. For readings, merchandise, oracle cards and candles don't forget to go to direct me slash ali's way tarot and shopify for more see you in the next one lavender loves